This is Sonic, and you're watching JD Frank 20. I gotta say, I, yeah. I didn't expect you to take, you know, my suggestion for the. Yeah, 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 yeah. Speed things up nowadays because the kids need quick entertainment. The kids will love it. <laughs> no, don't burn my jabbers. We gotta, we gotta cut some roster expenses. We gotta call the herd. I'm gonna make this right. You're gonna kill this company. <laughs> Boop, you know, maybe, but... Oh, what do I care? I already cashed out. <laughs> hey, Karen, I don't give a fuck. What is up, everybody? And yes, right now, what's making huge headways right now is a possibility of a merger between Paramount and Warner Brothers Discovery. And, and it's making a lot of headwaves, but also Pat Casey even chimed in on his tweet saying, this is a bad idea right here. How on earth can Paramount Brothers buy out another studio when they can't even afford to own Warner Brothers? That place is basically bankrupt already. We can't let Zasloff ruin another major studio. David Zasloff already took two successful companies and merged them into one big, extremely unsuccessful company. Absolutely. Like Warner Brothers Discovery alone, they're in so much massive debt right now. Now they want to piggyback off on another company just so they can stay afloat. Last I checked, they're over $40 billion in debt, where, where over a year ago was $50 billion in debt. Oh, but it gets oh, but it gets more interesting here. And you're probably saying, like, what's the problem with Warner Brothers Discovery? They are one of the worst, worst corporations out there, companies or studios, whatever the hell you want to classify them as. They have a notorious reputation for canceling shows, especially DC shows on HBO Max. All they care about is profit. They don't care about quality at all. They don't care about storytelling or any of that. You know, they choose to cancel whatever they like. This is one problem I've always had with them is they always take uh, shows that we like. They either cancel them or take them out of rotation just because they feel like it. Like if you notice on their HBO Max app or whatever it's called now, certain shows have been missing mysteriously without alerting you that's because either the license ran out or they just wanted to get rid of it because it's not deemed profitable or they just don't care you know they take advantage of warner brothers uh historic library and they're going to do the exact same thing with paramount's historic library some people are saying ah oh, this merger might not be a bad thing at least now they can compete with disney yeah disney another conglomerate who's violating who's, who's in who's been violating antitrust lawsuits yet they could get away with it but that comp but that corporation is in massive debt also, especially with their ESPN division, which is over what, two, three, four billion dollars in debt, paying to over two billion dollars for the broadcasting rights of Monday Night Football. That's not smart business right there. It's a money pit when you think about it. And of course, ESPN, you know, the worldwide leader in sports, they always do massive layoffs once a year just to uh, uh, alleviate the cost. I mean, they just had a huge one not too long ago where they let a lot of notable names go. So I'm telling you right now, Disney's no different. And I can already see lawsuits coming if this deal were to get approved, which it won't because, number one, it's already violating antitrust lawsuits. If this merger happens, David Zasloff needs to be removed from power altogether. I mean, that's, I think this is going to be the only way people are willing to stomach this merger if it does happen on a worst-case scenario. I don't think it is going to happen, but Zasloff needs to be removed effective immediately. He's a controlled freak. He's a control freak. You know, he's a hypocrite over scripted drama. He refuses to listen to criticism. You know, and he's greedy. I mean, let's be real here. He, I mean, he's, he's the pioneer of removing multiple shows and movies from HBO Max. People hate the guy with all their passion. Seriously, like, if you have to pick, uh, if you have to pick someone to remove from power, Zaslav needs to go. And the way things are going... Uh, Warner Brothers Discovery will not have the majority stake that will go to Paramount since WB Discovery has the most debt. You guys will be second in line compared to Paramount. And Paramount, of course, has their own intellectual properties here and there, their movie studios, you know, which which are doing which are doing great here and there. And of course, this is Sonic related after all, since Pat Casey tweeted about it. And of course, you got the Sonic 3 movie coming out uh, next year, exactly at the time of this recording. So that's why people are very adamant about this. They're saying, no, we don't want this deal to go down. Whatever happens, happens. Even if this, you know, they're just, they're just in talks right now. I understand talks can lead to something later down the road, but I myself am not a fan of this deal. And here's why, you know, because this is so, because you're trying to monopolize the industry. If you were to have WB and uh, 
WB Discovery merge with Paramount. First of all, the name is going to be so fucking confusing. Second of all, yeah, I mean, now you're going to have that corporation and Disney. They're going to basically have too much power, too much control, too much leverage when no one is say anything. And you're going to have massive layoffs. But then again, that's what they want. Because let's be real here. I've said it before. They want to invest in AI. Disney's already investing in AI. They're going to they want to lay off so many workers, invest in AI for the future. I mean, the only positive I could see about this is possibly the streaming services. I mean, you get you just only need one of them. I mean, we could call it Paramax. Combination of Paramount Plus and a combination of Cinemax or Max. Well, it's called Max now. At one point it was HBO Max. Just merge them both together and that's it. Get rid of the other services. You know, and that's it. Just call it Paramax. Simple as that. Make it cheap and affordable. All this is so shady here and there. And if this were to come into fruition, you know that lawsuits are going to be happening right here. That I could pretty much guarantee. They're already in violation of antitrust lawsuits to begin with. They even try to plan this. So, again, I'm just stating facts right here. Everyone, let me know what y'all think. And I got to go. Peace out.